We're going to turn now to the big story. Restoration frustration. Thousands still in the dark tonight after two wild storms tore through Metro Detroit over the weekend. And this is day five for the 53,000 people who are still waiting for their power to come back on. DTE says crews are working around the clock and say 90% of customers will be back on by midnight tonight. The rest We'll get power back on by the end of the day tomorrow. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us one neighborhood and how they're coping. We're in a neighborhood where folks have been without power since Saturday, but some families are having different experiences. That's because some of them have generators, others do not. This is my day of silence. Warren Galloway Street has been eerily quiet since Saturday when the power went out. Since then, he's been putting ice in his freezer and will soon be throwing out everything in the fridge. That's probably something we're going to start doing today. Warren is working from home, which makes things difficult with no computer. He's only using a cell phone. Well, at least the weather is nice. It has not been as humid. Otherwise, it would be unbearable to stay in the house. Gross Point Woods City Hall and police station have also been without power, forcing them to close to the public. Warren thought the power would not have been out this long. Hopefully Saturday night, hopefully Sunday night, hopefully Monday night. Now we'll go Tuesday night. From silence to this. Just blocks away in Harper Woods, you hear some folks using generators. David Johnson bought one about six months ago for 300 bucks. Without it, I would probably have to go to the hotel for, for a night or two. He says it powers pretty much everything in his home except for the air conditioner. Luckily, he doesn't need it. Thank God. <laughs> After experiencing this outage, Warren is going to consider buying a generator for his house. It gets you to thinking about, okay, in the future, how to prevent something like this happening long term again. And the folks here have to hold on just a bit longer. That's because DTE says most of the people without power should be back on the grid by the end of tonight. And those who are left that don't have power should get it back by the end of Wednesday night. In Gross Point Woods, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. All right, Simon, thank you. And for the very latest estimates from DTE about when power will be restored in your neighborhood, go to our website, WXYZ.com. There, you can also find out if you are eligible for a $25 credit. And don't forget to weigh in on what you think our big story should be tomorrow morning. Join our Morning Meanie live through Facebook at 10 a.m. and vote on which story you want us to cover.